Hey guys, this is the last video for the Buford Orchestra Placement Audition. Um, this is for the Triumphal March, the last example. Um, and you want to do this one if you plan to audition for Symphonia, which is Buford's top orchestra. Um, so any of my intermediate players or Buford's, um, anybody from Buford, I recommend that you at least try this one um, because um, who knows, you might be able to figure it out. Um, there are some things that we have just started to touch on at Walker, um, like our fourth finger pattern that we're going to need for this example, okay? Um, this means that we are using low ones on the A string for B flat, which is in our key signature, look at that. We have one flat, and that is going to make it F major. We have not played the F major scale yet, um, but maybe you have at Buford. Okay, and then we have a, this C stands for common time. That just means 4-4, four, four, four beats in a measure. Okay, um, so as we start this, we're starting on the fourth beat. That's a pickup. Those are pickup notes, right? So we're going to start on beat 4. And then you see that squiggly sign at three. Um, don't worry about that because that is not going to come into play for us. You're just going to play straight through the first ending until you see the notes that are crossed off and then you'll stop. All right, so we are using low twos. All righty. And then those Bs that you see, those are flat. We're going to put our first finger behind the tape closer to the scroll. All right. Um, we also have a rhythmic challenge here. Um, these notes that you see, they're eighth notes, but they have a three underneath um, or on top of them. Those are called triplets. So we want to separate one beat into three parts. Um, I like to say pineapple when I get to those notes because pineapple has three even syllables. So in measure three, I would count this this way. One, two, and three and pineapple or you could say triplet to remember that that's called a triplet um, but in music we have to use three syllables for triplet so um, you could do an exercise before you start this where you practice um, what is the difference between when there's two eighth notes in a beat versus three for the triplet so you could go one and two and three and four and triple it, triple it, triple it, triple it. Um, another thing is you can just listen to me play it, and that's going to help you um, to figure out how to play those triplets. Okay? All right. So there's one more challenge I want to talk about, and that's the bowing. There are some double ups in this example um, that don't quite... They're not easy. Um, they are, they're written in too. So uh, make sure you're doing, when you see there's a slash through a slur, that means don't do that slur. Um, look at the bowings on the top, okay? So for example, in measure three, four, five, six, you're gonna see there's a down and then two ups. Sounds like this. <laughs> challenge there's a there's a lift there okay so I in total I see three double ups all right um, all right here's the whole thing one two three <laughs> finger pattern number four, low ones, double ups, and triplets. Those three things you want to work on before you start the example. Okay, do your finger patterns, do your air bowing before, and 
make sure that you um, can play that triplet or pineapple. Okay? Good luck.